Hi, it's Nikki. Um, I thought I would show you this um, little envelope album I've made. Um, it's using the Tilda Seaside paper. Um, really nice, thick paper, beautiful images, all these sort of pale um, pinks and greens and whites. So pretty. And I really have to force myself to uh, cut into it. Um, but I was making this um, little album for a friend. It's her birthday. Um, so I just thought I would show it before I post it, show you it before I post it to her. Um, this is the front cover. Um, at the front of every every Tilda pad that I've ever had, um, the 12 by 12s anyway, I don't think they make it in any other sizes. Um, the first couple of pages are always die cuts, which go with the, the rest of the paper line. Um, and so that's what I've used here on the front cover. Um, and I've used some silicone to raise some up, um, so it sort of gives it that. 3D look, um, which uh, I don't know if you can see or not, um, and I've used um, the hidden hinge, hinge system, um, you know, where you, you put a piece of paper in between every envelope, and then where the spine is, I've covered it with a piece of um, vintage trim. Um, which I thought went with it nicely. Um, some of the images of the ladies have wings um, on their shoulders and I'm, I'm not really a, um, a wings person, so I tend to cut them off and, and trim them down a bit. Um, and then on the side here, I've, I've put just a, a little clip, um, a little, sorry, a paper clip. Um, somebody sent me this and I have a feeling it was Anne. Um, and it's made with a real shell and um, in inside the shell there's um, another tiny shell and a few little um, pearls which I thought was pretty and obviously goes with uh, the paper line. Um, inside then, this is the front cover, inside the front cover I've made this pocket and inside I've put um, a few tags um, and I've used this um, baker's twine for all the tags that I've made and where the hole is I've put either a little shell or the little pearl just to decorate them, make them look pretty and then some of the tags here I've put some of the die cuts on as well um, just to uh, decorate them up and then I've used some of the paper as well to make larger photo mats so like here I've left this open so you could tuck a photo behind it um, and then on the back um, just left it blank for um, extra photos or or journaling, you know, describing what's on your, your picture and things. All except the covers, um, I've um, used the envelope and, and covered um, the flap and everything, so I will show you that as we go along. This pocket here, um, this was one of the sheets of paper that got some um, it looks like writing old writing paper with flowers around it, so I've I've used that and left that as a journaling um, spot. And then here I've made like a little um, booklet with one of the seagulls on, um, and inside there's the paper. And on the back here I've made a little tuck spot with the one of the other ladies, and just tucked down behind it the the little picture of the whale, which I thought was so cute. So put that back in there. Um, there's also um, roses as one of the other themes running through this, which is so pretty. Just so nice paper, it really is. So here then I've made another um, tag. This is um, another journaling spot, which I think is uh, really lovely. So I've just left it as it is. I've just ruffled the edges a little bit. Um, and there's another one of those um, writing paper lots as well so I've left that there so there's lots of places for for journaling writing down storing things as well this one here I've just made a photo little photo mat um, and I've put tabs on them all so they're easy to slide in and out but there is room as well obviously inside the the envelopes for extra um, extra things storing postcards or tickets things like that so put that back. Um, this side here I've made a long pocket with the shell and the uh, starfish on and I've made a series of little journaling cards I've cut, um, little tags and this one here, this is uh, one you have to cut up and it's um, a postcard and it's just so cute isn't it and there's, there's the lady with the wings obviously I can't cut her wings off so I've left them um, but it's just a nice little bit there to tuck things into. 
next page here um, I've made a tuck spot here and I've layered one of the ladies on the front and behind it I've got a couple of um, journaling spots I've just put these tags on uh, tabs on um, so they're easy to pull in and out and again inside here um, I've got another journaling spot um, which um, is a useful useful place to, to tuck things this page here I've shortened um, just to give it some variety and then I've um, used a punch there to make a, um, a sort of a, a semicircle um, and there's uh, there's the journaling card for that pocket and I'm not going to be able to put this back in now am I? <laughs> Look at me, struggling one handed. There we go, that's better. Here then I made a little pocket with um, a little spell, not spell binder, Sizzix die I got um, and I've just decorated it and in here I've put um, another little journaling spot, made a little tag there with a the shell on it and that's another one there with the shell and the pearl on. So that's a nice little pocket um, and a little tuck spot if I can get it all back in. This one here I've left... Um, fairly uh, clear of anything but what I've done is I've just only stuck these these down at the edges oh, there you go. so you'll be able to um, took a photo behind them all um, and then just have the the flowers decorating the corners of your photo which I thought was nice and it's it's beautiful paper it really is and then the next page here um, no flap on this one uh, I've just left it um, open and there's a journaling spot in there which I'm just going to tuck back in and then here's the pocket which I've decorated as I say with the die cut um, and I made a little tag there a couple of little tags and a bigger um, journaling spot there the one with the postcard on and then room on the back for your photo this one here I've just used it as a little tuck spot some little tags I've made. Um, here's a, another journaling card I've made and I just punched out the corners there. And then a bigger one at the back with the post, another postcard on, um, which I thought looked so pretty. Um, and just put a, a little shell on the paper there. And then this page I've left um, fairly, fairly blank for a big photo. Um, and just just took a couple of the die cuts on and then again in here another journaling spot just just the same as the others really then this is the back page i've made a big pocket um, and i've put some um, little journaling spots in there and just that's the lady i've die cut her out and cut her wings off um, and so they all took in there nicely just behind her well i hope you think that's uh, nice if you want to leave me any questions any comments and uh, i'll speak to you soon bye bye